that will be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Black Panther Everett Ross and Eric Killmonger 2 pack. So let's get into it. So we'll take a look around the packaging, nothing up top. You get a picture of Everett Ross on the side, Eric Hillmonger on the other side, pictures of the figures on the back, brief description, so pause for and read that. On the bottom, you PC, scan if you want it, and without further ado, let's get into it. Doing some size comparisons, here's Everett Ross and Eric Killmonger next to the first Black Panther, the second Black Panther, Okoye, Nakia, a couple of two packs like the Winter Soldier and Falcon, and a couple of villains from the MCU. Now comparing the new Eric Killmonger next to the old one, as you can see the new one has a lighter tone to it, has some gold highlights that are more prominent on the new one compared to the old one. The old one is shinier though, uh, and it has this nice cheetah print which the new one doesn't have, but the new one has some gold highlights which um, is not accurate to the movie uh, on certain parts uh, actually, uh, but the cheetah print itself is very accurate on the old one, so I don't know why they would do this, so give us a mix between both of these figures or not, um, but I kind of prefer the new one because the, um, the tone of the black is a little bit more accurate. And you can see it's the exact same sculpt down to the little details here in the uh, feet as well. So yeah. Being that these are the same exact figures, you could take the uh, Killmonger head sculpt here and attach it onto the old one. Which I think with this darker black, even though it's not that accurate, it looks amazing. Uh, uh, they got the cheetah print on point though. So that's a little more accurate. But um, I like the lighter color on the uh, new one. So... That's what it looks like on both of them. Comparing the head sculpts, you can see how far they came. It's just amazing with the digital printing technology. I can't wait for the Wave 2 of Black Panther. Now for their accessories here, Everett comes with a black pistol. Uh, can't specify which one, probably M1911. Any Call of Duty players out there, this kind of reminds me of that gun. Uh, you can see some weird texturings on the side. Uh, it's not sculpted uh, or molded that well, uh, but it is on one side, and it does fit on his uh, right hand here. And you can see um, it's kind of sculpted where that uh, his uh, trigger finger uh, is not um, is not going through the hole because it's uh, it's actually attached right here. You can see if I try to pull it out. You might want to use an exacto knife to cut that a little bit more so you can get more range. But let me see if I could uh, fit this in the hand here without cutting anything. So that's what it looks like with the pistol on. And I think it looks really nice and it fits well. Now for Killmonger's accessories, he comes with one pair of uh, grabbing hands here. So these are just to hold his weapons here. They're exactly the same as the old one. So, uh, so he can hold these weapons right here, which is the uh, same mold and same paint job as the um, old ones as well. So just comparing those two, it's a little bit darker. And comparing the hands here, you could see that the new one has a lighter gold compared to this super saturated gold on the old one. So this is them with their accessories. So taking a closer look at Everett Ross, starting off with the head sculpt, great likeness to Martin Freeman. Obviously, uh, digital printing and sculpting has gone really good. Uh, you can see some details here on the hair, which is uh, nice. Uh, it's just amazing. I like how they actually continued the uh, thing with the hair piece uh, being separate. And you can see the suit here. We've seen these suits many times. It's my first time uh, um, having an actual suited uh, figure. So yeah, I I'm not going to bore you with all that um, uh, closer looks and all that stuff that I usually do. So basically with these, um, with these retooling of these figures, uh, I don't take the extra time of doing an even closer look. If you're uh, used to my reviews, uh, I do an even closer look at the figures that are uh, that is new. Uh, just to show you some of the uh, uh, joints and how they interact and some details uh, that you don't uh, usually see in uh, other videos. 
Uh, but for a, a mold like this that's been reused, I'm pretty sure everyone's familiar with it. And yeah, so I'm not gonna do that. So there's Everett. So taking a closer look at uh, Eric Killmonger here, starting off with the head sculpt, great likeness to Michael B. Jordan, digital printing technology, always on point with some of these figures. Sometimes the QC problems are apparent. Um, but uh, I really like the hairstyle that they uh, chose. I wish it was um, the uh, uh, the um, the cleaner version that we get in the uh, end battle, where it's all uh, not droopy to the side, but kind of um, kind of a slicked back. Um, but not uh, not this one where it's off to the side. This one's like more in the early uh, parts of the movie, but uh, not in the final battle. But that's okay. It's just an amazing head sculpt and just showing you the articulation part because I won't show the articulation uh, with this head on the articulation part of this video so yep you can look down that far kind of leaves a weird gap on the back here has some tilty shifty head movement as always and some side to side rotation all the way around so yeah that's pretty cool and popping the uh, the uh, mask on I forgot to show this in the um, accessories part, but uh, eh, whatever. Really nice uh, texturing. Um, I haven't done a review on this uh, Killmonger fi uh, figure before, but um, yeah, I'm going to showcase it right now, even though many people reviewed it and many people have seen this sculpt. But yeah, I'm just adding commentary. I don't know. It's the exact same figure. All, what can I say? Details, texturing, awesome, great. Feet have peg holes, but look at them toes though. There's they added some texturing on the toes. It's pretty nice. For Everett's articulation, you're starting off with the head. It's on a ball hinge joint, so it does rotate all the way around. It could look up that far and down that much. Uh, tilty, shifty head movement. Uh, it just wobbles, so nothing much there. Arms all the way around, they bend outward that much, less than 90 degrees, which is quite unfortunate. But that's how the way the um, shoulders are sculpted. Unfortunately, bicep swivel, double, I was about to say knees, elbows. <laughs> A lot of reviewers get that mixed up. Uh, wrist, you know, all the way around hinges. Um, he has a uh, ab crunch, which can bend forward that far and uh, back that much it's kind of hindered by the um the uh, suit top itself or, i don't know the the jacket thingy legs kick for that far uh back eh. uh, he has a upper thigh swivel um you can see it's loose on the right leg uh on on, on some other everett ross copies it's loose on the left leg so it just varies uh, double jointed knees, feet bend down that far. Kind of weird because uh, it bends down pretty far and it kind of overlaps onto the uh, pants suit or suit pants. And up that much. And it also has a ankle pivot. And doing the ankle pivot test, he's good to go. Killmonger's articulation here, ball hinge head, rotates all the way around, it can look up that far, which is decent, it's it's a weird uh, sculpting joint right there, um, look down that much, tilty shifty head movement, uh, arms out all the way, they bend outward that far, and with the butterfly joints, they can bend uh, uh, forward or back this much, and forward that far, get some range right there. And just moving the uh, arms here, you can see the range I can get. You could uh, grab people, and he could do that as well if you like. He also has a bicep swivel all the way around, double jointed elbows, wrist rotates up that far and down that much. The uh, torso here has a uh, hinge, so bends forward that far and uh, back that much. He also has a waist rotation all the way around. Legs kick forward that far so we could sit down like so. And back, eh, not that much. Uh, upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, like so. And his feet bend down that far. Really nice. Up that much, which is really nice as well for dynamic poses. And he has the ankle pivot. 
and doing the ankle pivot test. And he's good to go. So yeah, that is it guys. Hope you guys like it. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell, turn on notifications because there are more some videos coming. Eh, probably locked down in a couple of days. Uh, it's been slow. I've been doing some work, so uh, videos aren't coming out as quickly as possible. I tried to upload daily just a couple of days ago, so hopefully you guys enjoyed those videos. Uh, but for me, this two-pack is not worth it. Uh, what's only redeeming uh, qualities about this two-pack are the head sculpts, so the Everett Ross and the Eric Killmonger. Uh, since they, since Hasbro just um, uh, like announced the Wave 2 of Black Panther, they're going to be re-releasing the head sculpt in a new uh, sculpted uh, body and a new um, it's just it's it seems like a better wave since it's an all movie wave uh, but for this two pack it's not worth it uh, just wait until it gets on clearance um, like many people uh, said to me they're just gonna wait until they get on clearance uh, but yeah this is not worth it unless you really want um, this uh, head sculpts or uh, never own a um, a suited figure like I have so yeah uh, so yeah that is it guys hope you guys like it Errol from Moros this is the sun and now peace